Hello, my name is Jamie and welcome to this tutorial. This is part 3 of the Minecraft character tutorial um, and in this part we'll just look at putting together a basic rig for the character uh, so you can animate him to move around like you would in Minecraft. Um, so to start off we will switch to the front view and I will make sure I've got my screen cross keys on. Sweet, so the front view um, and we will just make sure that the uh, character is centered in the world and you can look at that by opening this transform and I can see the location is 000, zero, zero. if not alt G that clears the location um, so we will go shift S and put the cursor to center so that the cursor is also in exactly the same spot as the character and then in front view shift A Add the armature with a single bone. Now, uh, what we'll do is we will go to the object data and uh, enable x ray so we can see what's going on. And then I'm going to also just hit Z for the initial part to go into wireframe mode. Um, and I think we'll say an octahedron for now so we can uh, know what way the bones are oriented. So we'll just tab into edit mode with the bone selected and you can see we can move around the parts. So I'll just move uh, that down to there. And so this bone is going to be the root bone um, and basically everything will be attached to the root bone. So we just have to grab that and we can move the whole character around. Um, so we'll E to extrude like in modeling mode. Um, and if you tap Z or Z, um, you'll constrain the movement to the Z axis. And then one more time and put that at the top there. So now we've got uh, the body and the head bones there. Now I will uh, shift D with this bone selected because it was exactly the same length as the arms. And just move it, I'll right click to cancel transform and move it into position on the arm and then hit R180 and then shift D this and just move it across on the X axis there. Now I want uh, these two bones to be, if we control tab to pose mode we can just see how things are working. I want these arms to uh, rotate or follow the rotation of the body bone so back into edit mode with tab and to do that um, we'll select both bones and hit alt p to clear the parent and then we'll select this bone and then shift right click to select this bone and control p and keep offset and then this select this bone with the right mouse shift right mouse and then control p and keep offset so that has set the parenting correctly for those two bones now I will, in edit mode again, shift D to duplicate and just move this bone into position and shift D and move this bone into position here. So um, again I'll select both these bones and Alt P to clear the parent because I want these ones to be um, only parented to the root bone. So I'll do that now. Keep the offset and keep the offset. So now in pose mode, um, you know it's pose mode because the bones are blue when you select them. If I want to move the body around and move it uh, like that and everything follows, and the legs don't follow that, but if I need to move everything around then it all follows with the root bone. The legs move independently, and the arms and the head move independently. So now um, to attach the uh, armature to the mesh, uh, we're going to use vertex groups um, and the way it works is the you create a vertex group um, with a name and if that name matches a bone um, that's got uh, that's in the armature modifier I mean we add that in and we can even add in the armature modifier now with armature um, make sure vertex groups is selected and it'll uh, currently be using 
um, the envelopes, phone envelopes, so we can even turn that off here. So when we rotate, um, we're not going to get anything unexpected. Um, so we're only using the vertex groups. So we'll name the bones and we'll start with the head. So head bone, and we'll call it head. And then select the mesh, uh, tab into edit mode, and control tab and select there to go to vertex mode. And then um, just using L to select all that is linked. And I'm going to select the head and the hat. And then here in object data, uh, click the plus for vertex groups. That creates a vertex group, uh, but it doesn't assign anything to it yet. We'll name the group head. Hit enter and then click assign with the weight set to 1. And now when we select the bone, the um, head model follows the head bone exactly as we want it to. And then all it is is a matter of uh, doing the same for the rest. So this is his left arm. Select linked. Add a vertex group. Left arm. Assign. This is the right arm. And then just here is also the right arm. And it's easiest to do all the naming sort of um, together like this. Do the bone and then the piece that you're assigning to it. Just to avoid any confusion. Um, especially with the left and right. Um, it can get a little bit confusing. Um, to make sure you know which left and which right. Whether it's the character's left or the left that you're uh, looking at. I think it's control shift L is your um, unselect anything linked. Here's so selecting the body, plus body assign, and I'll name the legs. This is the character's left leg. And vertex group. Left leg assign and then R leg for right leg and vertex group R leg. So I just need to select that, hit assign. And then we can even go into textured mode and see that it's all working. I'll switch to stick now because that hinders the view a little bit less. And we've got a character that you can animate. Um, we might even name the root bone rather than being root. We'll name it root. Uh, rather than it be named bone, we could name it root. Um, and that's pretty much the end. Um, looks like I missed the uh, texturing on the side there, so make sure you don't miss that, um, but otherwise the character's finished um, and you, as you saw in the last video at the end, you can assign uh, any skin that you can find um, on the internet, um, it's just as easy as a Google search for Minecraft character skins and you'll come up with um, thousands of uh, character skins you can possibly use. <coughs> you can even uh, design your own, um, as they're fairly easy to design. Um, I mean, they're very low pixel um, textures, so it's fairly easy to uh, get into pixel art, if that's what you're interested in. Um, but for me, that's it for this week, um, and hopefully you've learnt a bit about Blender. Um, I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. Um, so feel free to leave any feedback, uh, comments, likes, all that sort of stuff. 
um, and be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter um, I'll put links in the description of all three videos and I'll uh, make a playlist and stuff so you can watch this all together at once uh, so once again goodbye and I'll see you next time